Hi everyone, I just wanted to stop in quickly and discuss the issue that people are having with lumps and bumps and the Hyaluron device. When you're using a product and you're buying brands out there, anything that's made deep are designed for needle methods. Even though the brand are telling you that they can be used with a Hyaluron device, they can be used with a Hyaluron device and even though you're using it and you're successfully using it without product loss and it's penetrating the skin. I understand that, but you're gonna have lumps and bumps and unevenness because those products are used for the needle methods. When you're using the needle methods, you have full control. The needle goes into the lip and when you're withdrawing, you have control of the amount of filler you're coming out with and your filler is coming out of the needle and distributed very evenly. But when we're using the hyaluron pen, as we know, it is released with pressure. And when the pressure is released with the button, it shoots out in little spurts, like little balls. So if your hyaluronic acid is not the proper viscosity, it's going to shoot out little hard balls if the product is too deep and thick. If the viscosity is thick, those balls will not release and spread out under the skin properly. So what's gonna happen is you're going to have little lumps and bumps under when you're done your session. And even though you're going to massage the area, those lumps and bumps are not gonna spread out properly. Now, over time, yes, you can have the client massage themselves afterwards, but the problem is, is that people become fearful and they don't wanna leave with lumps and bumps. And when they go out showing their friends this type of result, their friends tell them that it's ugly. They tell them that it's not pretty. They don't feel pretty themselves either when they look in the mirror and they see lumpy, bumpy lips and unevenness. And not everyone wants to come back to see you in three, four, five days. And it does take at least three, four, five days to have the sensitivity leave in, it, in order to be able to massage those lumps and bumps. Because if you massage them too early, the tissue is still sensitive and you might promote swelling you might cause the tissues to swell more and damage so you don't want to do it too early and you know your client doesn't want to be walking around with lumps and bumps all over their face for a week after their treatment and like I said people won't like it they won't come see you after if they see that their friends are walking around with lumps and bumps on their face for a week after their treatment so it's not something you want to have once your treatment's done you don't want to have your client walking around promoting your work with lumps and bumps in their lips. That is your name uh, when somebody leaves with your work. When someone asks who did the work, they're going to mention your name. And people are either going to love the work and come and see you, or they're not going to like it and they won't come see you at all. So the product you choose to work with is going to be very important as to whether you're going to become busy or not and successful with your business. It's very important which product you decide to work with. And anything deep, like I said, is meant for older traditional needle methods. I do distribute product. My product, the viscosity is specific for the hyaluron device. And lumps and bumps can be common when you're using hyaluronic acid. I'm not saying it's not possible to happen. That can happen when you're using any type of hyaluronic acid. It is a possibility. But when you're working, it should be able to be massaged immediately and the viscosity should be controllable right away. Um, the client should not be leaving with big lumps and bumps, and if there is a lump and bump, it should be felt only by the client and not visual by anyone around them. The swelling is normal. Swelling can happen for about 24 to 48 hours. The area should be iced immediately after treatment so that the swelling will go down within the next 24 to 48 hours. And that's it. That's the reason people are having it. You guys have to be really careful not to inject too far away from the vermilion border. Make sure to stick on the vermilion border because I see a lot of people injecting just outside the vermilion border and then it ends up looking like you have a, a fish lip around the lip. And that's not pretty either. And it becomes very lumpy and bumpy as well. So you wanna really make sure don't forget to do your homework on the product you're buying. If you need anything and you need you have any questions or you need any products, you can reach me at lc at queen with a k.com. So please be careful where you're buying from. All the companies, they say that the hyaluronic acid works very well through the pen, but most of the time it's way too thick 
and if you get anything under 20 mg per ml it's usually too thin and it doesn't last so it penetrates very well but then the results don't last so you want to always make sure to take before and after photos because your client calls and says that the product doesn't last you'll always have a photo to compare the before and after so i hope that helped and i hope you all have a great day and take care stay safe talk to you soon feel free to reach me if you need anything or have any questions bye